Okay, can I ask you a question? What does that mean and where did it come from? It's what? And what does it mean to you? What does it mean? Ah, yeah. Kia ora. That's beautiful, sis. Now I'm gonna, sis, can I just show you something? Wow. The divine creator gave it to our tupuna as a kawanatanga, a covenant. And it's the color and the promise and the vow that you made to the Most High Creator, Hawaii. And you wear that as a promise. It's a vow that you made to the Heavenly Father. And because you wear that, you have the authority to karanga men into the gates of the Heavenly Kingdom of Hawaii Nui, Hawaii Roa, Hawaii Pama Mau. Yeah. And that's the truth that's written down in the scriptures. I can bring it out. What? Now, when we don't, um, we're not preachers. We're warriors, and we're warriors with intelligence, and we have the power of the karakia. The word is our most most powerful weapon. Yeah. And I'm just teaching everybody the ancient knowledge and the dark sayings that was taken and stripped from us. See, um, like you said, how you explained this to, to me, you said it's how you feel. When I'm going to tell you it's not how we feel, this is the truth. You made a promise, your foremothers, your foremothers made a promise to Hawaii, and we should still keep it unto this day. Forever and ever, even forever. Kia ora. We'll get it out of um, Samuel. First Samuel 1 verse 10. Just a lazy precept. Not the whole, not the context. <laughs> <laughs> I just want that piece of, to see what freak out Chris on them. Chris Samuel 1 and 10. Yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. oh. Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. And she bowed a bow and said, O Lord of hosts, the devil. Indeed, look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child. Then I will give unto him, unto the Lord, all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. That's a promise and a vow she made. And it come to pass. And it came to pass because she made a vow unto the fathers. And she committed, and she continued praying before the Lord. Let Eli, Mark, go mouth. That's right. Simples. When you go into the paleo scripture town, it actually says what for? <laughs> Mark, moko. The word Mark comes from the word in case. And they say Mark. Mark. When it's moko.
So with that, we want to give all honors and glory to Yahweh, Ha, Yahweh, and much love to our homies who turned up today, and to the homie Jess, the first certified Rangatira, Young King, Young Tohunga coming up on the rise. So we'll recognize the Tika Tanifa. Move. Too much bothers. To do my fuck on my Katina. Hunga. Homie, there we are. Hello, Kino. Shalom. We were slaves in Egypt. We belong to the Father. Ain't no pledge to lead you. We both to celebrate that killing that he didn't need you. We both to keep the holy days. Don't be like the heathen. He said that for a reason. We in Babylon. Coming back without a